So right now, on the way tayo ngayon to the office kasi airport stand by duty ako and sasamahan nyo ako. So pag-uusapan natin actually yung definition niya, yung purpose niya and yung limitation for those who doesn't know yet and uh, kung ano ba yung usually kong ginagawa on an airport stand by duty. So let's go! Send by duty will start around 12:50 and it will end at around 6:50 in the evening. So I'm on my way now to the office. 12 noon ako umalis and it will take us around 25 minutes to get there to office. Um, dahil wala naman traffic. So la natin magpagas. La na, ubus na. Hello miss. Miss na. 1,000, 1,000 diesel po. Okay. Alright, oh, oh, nga pala, bawal nga palang, ano. Bawal nga ng device while uh, refueling. So, as a law abiding citizen, I'll see you guys in a bit. sa harap mismo ng office like super lucky lang din talaga kasi pag ganitong time usually lunch time or what siguro lumalabas yung mga tao and I'm here <laughs> so I think entrance and yan ito yung office so let's prepare to go down <laughs> ano ba yung mga essentials natin syempre yung ID huwag natin kalimutan to uh, <laughs> and jacket since di naman ako duty ngayon magja-jacket ako ng black actually ito pala yung gusto kong i-discuss guys na kapag airport stand by duty normally hindi naman ako naka-uniform talaga so i'm wearing my uniform right now for the purpose of of vlogging para at least super standard tayo Ayun, so i normally wear polo shirt magdadala lang ako ng top nito ay ng uniform to change Para mas com more comfy and very desiring yung uniform. So let's go, sign in! Ay, ano pala? Where pala natin ko? And. Face shield! Let's go! So, naka sign in na tayo, guys. And as much as I want to remove my mask, but it's mandatory here sa office na nakal mask and I actually found a good spot here. Di ba? Ganda ng background. So, naka office chair pa ako. And um, it's my first time to shoot here actually. Kasi normally, I would stay at Bo's Coffee sa Salem. Sa tapat lang ng office. Or sa, or sa D, D plus C. So, yeah. Doon lang ako mag nag chill But, but right now, hindi nag-aalaw ng dine-in ngayon stay for takeout only or probably they are closed so I would stay here so obviously you don't get over so cute talaga ng background so let's now discuss the airport done by duty so in addition to flight rosters trainings meron din kaming tinatawag na home standby or airport standby so if you have watched my previous vlog which is home standby I'll put it here so if you pa napapanood and meron pa tayo isang flight duty na hindi pa na discuss which is the airport standby duty. So ano ba yung duties and responsibilities namin as a pilot during airport standby duty? So we shall be within the vicinity of the assigned duty and be able to take over any unmanned flight or flights as soon as possible after being notified. So, syempre may kodigo ako. <laughs> so, of course, meron din tayong consideration when it comes to taking over a flight. And the pilot on airport standby, when notified, shall take over the flight. However, we need to consider not to exceed his or her duty period for that day. 
Next would be adequate rest facilities shall be provided to the flight crew on airport side by duty. So yeah, meron kaming tinatawag na crew quarters. Uh, meron bed box. We could sleep there. Or dun sa dispatch area namin uh, where we could chill. 12.15 mag start yung duty ko until 6.50. There will come a time na it could be extended to maximum of 10 hours. So let's discuss naman yung purpose and ano ba yung mga instances na pwede kaming ma-upgrade. Meaning na upgrade is to take over a flight. So ano ba yung mga cases na yun? Of course, um, number one, if the pilot of that flight gets sick on a short notice. So next would be if na late yung crew for that day. Of course, at least there will someone na back up again para hindi madali yung flight. Or a flight has been added to our list for that day. Or rescue flight. So and dami actually reasons or purpose kung bakit dapat meron airport sign by duty like hindi lang doon limited sa mga sinabi ko so of course kahit airport sign by duty kami meron din kami like duty and responsibilities such as hindi rin kami pwedeng uminom 8 hours prior to our duty kasi who knows diba like, ma-upgrade tayo so yun it's not allowed of course as a crew we should not take this for granted na porkit airport standby duty like magre-relax na tayo but for me i have to physically mentally emotionally prepare na anytime i can be upgraded to a flight so yun meron naman kami tinatawag na e crew na where we can see the flights for that day so yun at least magkaka mental picture na ako or at least i can prepare myself kung ano ba yung route for that day na pwedeng mapunta sa akin so imagine 6 to 10 hours ka magsa-stay dito. So what can I do actually? So and dami and daming bagay na pwede kong gawin. First, we have to make use of our time. You know, like time so precious. So first, ang ginagawa ko dito is if meron akong online modules or meron akong upcoming trainings, I make sure I review, I review on my airport standby duty. So dito yung um can use this to access our online courses na tinatawag naming LMS. So, lalo na if may upcoming training kami, like, ito lang talaga yung ginagamit namin. Wala physical books. Everything we need to know is right here. So, just this week yet, or last week, Studio sent me Today, I did try out that in your studio for my <laughs> online module. So let's connect it. So anyway, I'm done with my uh, module. It took me around 45 minutes to finish that. What can I do after? I would like dedicate at least uh, 30 minutes to one hour. I brought. Uh, two books with me. So I'm done reading right now. Lalabas naman natin yung laptop ko to for me to number one answer emails. So nami kung unanswered emails right now mga inquiries. So um, now is the perfect time for me to do so. So 
actually tapos na ako mag-answer ng mga emails and right now I'll take this opportunity also to conceptualize yung mga future posting ko, mga I mga ideas ko paano ko siya execute as well as to check if meron akong deadlines or or revisions. Dito ko lahat ini-input yung mga ideas ko. Like the quote here, like make passion your paycheck. Yeah. Lastly, kung marami talaga hong time, and of course marami talaga hong time, I will edit my backlog sa vlog. So yun, marami na hong deadline this coming Friday. So I really have to do it na talaga. So anyway, pag may edit na ako ng vlog, I have to change na. So I'll change it to studio. It with active noise cancellation kasi gusto ko like sobrang clear ng voice ko yung yung music sa background music and of course gusto ko marinig yung actual environment talaga ng shinut ko for me to know if meron ba ang kailangan i-adjust in the noise or something like that so I will use this Kahit yung aircon, hindi ko na talaga naririnig. So, tapos na ako mag-edit. I think um, I'm 30% done. Our craft duty is about to be finished. I have to make ligpit na. <laughs> Kasi I'm about to go home in a while. So, um, other than that, yun lang naman mostly ginagawa ko. So, anyway, I feel uh, really productive today kasi ito naman yung mga usually kong ginagawa sa bahay. Eh. Like, alam mo yun, dinala ko lang lahat ng mga ginagawa ko. Laking tulang din talaga ng studio for, you know, like, sending me a package. For, like, this price talaga, sobrang steel siya kasi sobrang ganda ng quality niya when it comes to, like, this one when we're talking about the the NIO studio. Ito yung walang noise cancellation. Ang ganda ng fit niya sa ears. Like, matatagalan ko siyang gamitin. Okay yung battery life niya. Confident siya sa ears. Like, kaya kong gamitin siya, like, for the whole day long. Like, hindi makangawit or hindi sasakit yung ears ko. Secure din talaga yung fit niya sa ears dahil parang siyang merong um, may wing tip siya. Okay yung mic quality niya actually. So if we're going to do like um, meetings, lalo na ngayon um, like pandemic, online na yung mga meetings natin ngayon. Okay siya. Like if maingay yung environment mo, sobrang clear ng magiging output ng voice mo sa mga like receiver. Though this one, it focuses more on like yung bass ng uh, music. So yun. Though kahit nakasan mo yung music nito, hindi mo naman kailangan ng noise cancellation talaga. Like, hindi, hindi nagsasuffer yung um, overall audio quality nito. So, highly recommend this one. And uh, for this one, the studio noise cancellation comes with the different sizes ng parang buds niya. Um, okay din yung fit niya. Good battery life as well. Yung sound niya is super balanced. Like, yung bass niya, hindi niya ina you know, overpower yung mga mid tones and high tones. So, yeah, highly recommend this one. So, anyway, again, if you're gonna purchase this piece, you use Michael Palachuska 15 to get a 15 15% uh, discount on your purchase. And uh, you may purchase it through their website. So, yeah, please don't forget to follow Studio also on their Instagram account. Anyway, guys, tapos na yung airport standby duty ko. So, um, so yun lang. Yun lang yung usually yung ginagawa. And, um, of course, this is just me. I'm not speaking for all the pilots out there. Of course, may iba iba silang trip kung baga. So, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for uh, coming with me today. Sobrang na make use ko talaga yung time ko dito. So, I hope you learned something new and see you again on our next vlog. Bye!